Welcome back to What Art He Noobs for General Disturbance. This is the 105FH18B2, the French Tier 5 Premium SPG that many people know as a Lepi, a Leaf Blower, or a Heifer, but we know it as Fifi La Pew Pew. This one is located on the south spawn, according to this, of uh, uh, Abbey, and it's under the command of Leia. Well, I had to think about that for a second. I was trying to think which map was it on. But yes, it's fairly obvious. Okay, let's see how he can get on on this game. He's decided to take it off to the west side. That's always what I do, actually. In fact, he's going similar spot where you can actually spot the enemy. But he's actually going for the enemy RT. So he's firing a, a totally speculative shot in that general direction. I try to hit the enemy as they make their great way into the grounds of the Abbey. Now he's going for the tank destroyers. There's normally somebody there. And we can see an enemy leopard has managed to make it to the center, and so has one of ours. But we've got another target, a Panzer Fear F2 rounds out. Nice direct hit, 126. He's pulled back, as he obviously didn't like getting hit by that RT round. Ah, he's out the game. Well, he's back in the garage now, and I think that might have been a penetrating shot for 366. The uh, Alpha is 410, penetration 53 millimeters of armor, and uh, the burst radius 1.91 meters. Standard reload 8.92 seconds, he's got 7.51, so slightly more than some of the other players. I think he could still reduce that just a little bit more, maybe knock off another half a second or so okay churchill three just took some rounds he's almost out oh he fired the round in and i suspect that round did hit the target and we just saw where two of the tracers are coming from one's coming right on the edge of their plateau and the other one from behind the trees where he fired before but have you noticed the minimap yeah i think it's pretty obvious the enemy is coming straight down the west side and our gorilla he needs to move out of there very quickly, otherwise he's going to be next. Yeah, they're, uh, I think we're about to see the gorilla get killed. Unfortunately, if he does, he's too slow really to, to make it into cover. But then so is the feet for that matter. And you can see Blair noticed that the enemy was coming. And he's now got into cover. Well, looks like the gorilla's about to die. Yeah, our teammates are now firing at the enemy. And in the meantime, we're aiming at the Wolverine who's hiding behind the houses. Rounds out. Direct hit. A lovely second kill. Okay, now he needs to work on the enemy tanks. And yes, our gorilla has finally gone down. He was just a little too close. But from this position, we can get good shots on the enemy tanks. They make their way over to the plateau. And the first to come is an Excelsior. Rounds out. Good shot. It was a, it was ahead of target. He got the, um, he got the range, the lead of the target correct. He just didn't get the angle right, so he could get a direct hit. Oh, unfortunately, our M10 got wiped out. But oh, he got revenge. The M7 got deleted with that shot. And that M7 hit 167 hit points. Now, he can't see the target at the moment because we don't have anybody up on the plateau, but we've got a Wolverine nearby, and he might be able to go. Uh, these guys are already spotted, and they've gone. So now we've got the Excelsior, but he might decide to hide behind that rock. And we've also got an arty round coming in after our Wolverine. So, yes, yeah, so I think he's going to have to change position and get behind this rock so that he's safe from fire. Now, if that Excelsior gets any closer, he might actually spot Blair directly anyway. But I'm not sure if the enemy RT should or will be able to hit him. He probably can, even if he's very close to the rock. That shot just missed. Stug's gone. So we're even on numbers at the moment. The enemy team's got slightly more hit points than we have, though. I think that's because we made the assault up the river road and we lost a lot of hit points on the right on the way rounds out the ELC oh 
that's a penetrating shot. 402. Low roll, but it is a penetrator. Fires another one in for good measure. But the ELC's gone. Yes, he's trying to get out of there quick. In the meantime, we've got a T1 Heavy who's harassing our T1 Heavy. Now, can we get a round in to help? Rounds out. Well, that almost hit our teammate, but it won't make any difference if it does because there's no stun on these shells. He narrowly missed the enemy people as well. He was hiding around the corner. And now we've got a load of tanks to fire at. And yes, he tracked the T1 Heavy. Now, can we get a shot on our uh, enemy number? Yes! And I think that might have been a penetrating shot. We lost our T1 Heavy. Can we get a... We went for the ELC. That's the lighter and faster moving one. T1 Heavy would make a bigger target. And I think he knows because there's RT firing on that corner. He's hidden behind the rock just as Flair did. So four kills Flair's up to now. I should also point out Flair is in Olim, which is the same clan that I'm in. Lots of RT players in Olim. Who's next? Hands of Pia Alsung H, the Anku. It's the Japanese. Um, is it. Um, Got what they call them now <laughs> the anime tank that's it <laughs> With those screeching japanese uh, uh, girls wearing um anime costume it's not my thing okay we're even numbers but there's a possibility the enemy might try to come down the river road so i do think it's a good idea to actually change position and get over the other side. Yes, they did. In fact, our ELC didn't even notice that T1 Heavy going down the road, and that was my main fear. The AMX has gone to a position where he's hiding, uh, where he can shoot on the cap area, but he can't see anybody going down the river road. The Wolverine's coming back, so he can act as our eyes, whilst we get over the other side and shoot at the T1 Heavy without him being, being able to spot us. Player, like most players, has got one mark of excellence. I think I've got peepees on most of my accounts, and virtually all of them have got just one mark. I think there's only one account maybe has two marks on my PP. I've not been able to three mark it yet, but I will get there eventually. I don't think I play it enough really to get a third mark. That was an accurate shot, but it wasn't there. Now, can we get a hit on T1? ELC just got a hit on him. Line it up. That's good lead. Rounds out. Oh, perfect! Right up his engine bay. So, five kills now for Blair. One short of getting a top gun. And there's still two enemy in the game. If he does get the enemy RT, he will also pick up a counter battery fire medal. Because, of course, he killed the Fifi on the enemy team. He's got 13 rounds of HE left, and he's got a number of uh, heat rounds as well. They're very useful. The Stug is in the Abbey grounds. And yes, he can get a shot. He's probably a lot easier if he'd actually been over on the west side of the map. But it's a difficult shot. I'm sure he can get it if the guy drives down this road. And he is doing that. Here we go. Grabs out. Yes! Enemy armor is destroyed. Exhaust pipe. <laughs> Yeah, that shell went up its exhaust. Oh, he misses the counter battery because the ELC didn't give him a chance, but it was bang on target, that shot. That never gets old when an enemy turns their back to us thinking I'm going to drive off and I'm going to deal damage to, uh, to our team and uh, go to a junction and then fight out the enemy. And then an a shell comes in from a Fifi and shoots him right up the rear. It, it never gets old, that one. So funny. Second class tanker for Blair in o of Olymp in the Fifi. He managed to get a bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits. In fact, he got 12 in that one. And he got a top gun for getting six enemy kills. Pity that he missed out on getting the RT, but the AMX ELC just, well, he thought, well, uh, Blair's got his top gun. He doesn't need this one. It would have been nice to have that counter battery fire medal as well, but 
it was a good game good result 4896 was the win eight uh and let's have a look at team score well he's he's got the highest damage but he didn't get 20 percent of the enemy hit pool and that's why he didn't get the high caliber 1715 hit points of damage second highest damage turned out to be the panzer t25 on the enemy team he got 1332 and then we've got the panzer fear alcelon h anju the um uh the minime was it minime or anime it's it's i think it's one or two i think it's anime um tank who got 1262 hit points of damage when it came to kills he got that one too six kills the high, the, the second highest was the Panzer Fia Alcerum Anjou. Four kills. Three kills went to the Wolverine on his own team. And when it came to base XP, he got that one too. 844. 730 went to the Panzer Fia F2. And T1 Heavy managed to get, or F5, I should say. Uh, and T1 Heavy managed to get 677, even though he got wiped out by that bunch of enemies all grouped together to have a go at him, even the arty. And that was a really bad mistake by the arty because, of course, Blair did exactly the right thing. He focused on the arty first because, of course, he's the slowest, he's the easiest to kill, and he's the most deadly on the enemy team. And once he got rid of him, he was able to then target the others. But, of course, they were just too quick to for him to get one of them as well. But, uh, yeah, great result. Let's have a look at detail. He fired 29 rounds, so he had 21 rounds left at the end of the game. 12 direct hits on the enemy, 3 penetrating shots. Let's have a quick look to see which ones he actually penetrated. Well, he didn't penetrate the Fifi, funnily enough. Um, that wasn't a penetrating shot. The, um, no, not the Anjou. Not that one. T1 Heavy wasn't. Ah, he did penetrate the Panzer Fear F2, or S5, I keep saying. Uh, that was the one that was on the uh, Abbey Road, the one leading to the Abbey, and he hit him twice. The second shot went through the side, and I said at the time I thought that was a penetrating round. The Wolverine, no, didn't do that one. The Stug, yes, he did penetrate the Stug via one shell right up his engine bay, uh, up his exhaust, actually, and that went straight through him. And the others, no, none of those were... Oh. The ELC was a penetrator, yes, 402 hit points. That was the one where he was sitting still. He fired the round in, it did a lot of damage, and then the ELC ran away as quickly as he could to try and avoid any more shells coming in. So, great result there. Let's have a look at the rest of the details. 14 splashes as well, 1,715, all of it at more than 300 meters. Damage, 9 of the enemy, kills 6. And he earned a profit of 35,111 credits from the game and 1,772 experience points as well. Uh, that game was a win, and the thing is that at one point they were they did look as if they were going to lose because they'd fallen completely on one side of the map, the west side, and although our team had done very well to get up the east side, the river road, to get to near the cap, uh, cap area, they were blocked by the enemy at the far end, and so they weren't able to get much further uh, and so consequently, it looked like the enemy were going to be the uh, the winning one. But thanks to Blair, they did actually get some nice kills. They got the kill on that M7 after he killed our M10. And he also stopped that Excelsior from getting any closer uh, before he got taken out by one of our teammates as well. And then, of course, he was able to deal damage to the enemy at the other end. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a like and do subscribe to our channel if you're not a member. And uh, please also leave a little message down below how you managed to find us. Um, were you recommended to us by YouTube? Did somebody tell you that we actually exist? Because not many people actually know that What Are T Noobs exists. Um, but if you do like this video, please do let us know. And thank you for watching.